Hi friends, Lisa Rana here, and I'm so happy you are joining me for today's Assemble This video. It's Valentine time. <laughs> yep, it's that love holiday coming up, and I thought I'd make a few cute and easy Valentine's Day cards. I'm featuring all these cute tiny animals from Unity Stamp Company. They're just too darn cute and perfect for your little Valentines. I'm using the tiny bear, the tiny unicorn, and tiny chipmunk. They're just the perfect size and come with some really cute sentiments as well. I just love how adorable these are and they fit on these little tiny uh, valentines just perfectly. I also have some Karen markers and then just one sheet of Nina cardstock 80 pound paper. You can get three tiny valentines out of it plus some scrap paper to use for your stamping. I just cut down a square or rectangle that's 9 inches by 6 inches and then I cut each of those into 3 by 6 and then scored them and folded them in half. So we have a cute little 3 by 3 Valentine's Day card. And then again those little scrap pieces from the leftovers that I'm going to use to stamp on. So I pulled out my original Misty and I'm just going to use one of those pieces of scrap paper to line up my little images. I'm just going to stamp them all at once, just makes it super easy. If you wanted to mass produce these, you could. Uh, that's what I liked about this process. It just was easy to create three little valentines from one sheet of paper. I lined those all up and I'm going to use some VersaFine Claire ink in the in the black, the nocturne black, and just stamp those once. Got a great impression. Once was all I needed. And then I lined up all my sentiments on another piece of that scrap paper and stamped those down. One of my sentiments had a hard time stamping and I realized it was because of that magnet. So I just moved that out of the way and then I got a perfect impression once I did that. So I have all my little guys lined up and placed on a mixed media mat and then I'm going to use my Karen markers. I just scribbled on some praline onto my media mat and I'm going to pick some of that up with water. I did put that off to the side to test that color. It wasn't really the color I was looking for. I kind of wanted to warm it up a bit so I brought out my swatch which I should have done in the first place but of course we never do what we should do in the first place. So I grabbed another color. This one is cinnamon. It's a little bit warmer and I like the two colors. I think it'll create the shadow and the dimension that I'm that I'm going for. So this time I am watercoloring on my Nina cardstock. I do this all the time. I I know it's probably not the the proper way to watercolor and some people don't really like it but it works for me. I'm a I'm very simple when it comes to watercoloring and coloring my images so um, the process of doing watercolor on Nita cardstock just works for me so I'm not I'm not mad at it. I love the texture and eventually all that watercolor just kind of soaks into the paper and evens out. So I'm just coloring my chipmunk and my bear with that praline, I'm sorry, not the praline, mainly the cinnamon color and then just a hint of that praline just to kind of deepen it. And then I did a little bit of um, water coloring on the unicorn. I kind of wanted him to be a little bit lighter in color so I just did the edges in that cinnamon color and um, I'll go in with this almond. That's what I just scribbled on to my media mat and picked up with water is the almond color and I'll just kind of blend that over everything and do all the lighter areas with that almond. I did the chipmunk's cheeks, the bear's nose, ears, and belly and just kind of lightened everything up. We can't have cute little images without 
cute little red cheeks so I scribbled on some of that soft peach too and I'm just picking that up and doing the cheeks on all my little cutie pies and the hearts as well. The unicorn I'm going to add a little bit more color to so I did the ears and part of the tail and then I grabbed some arctic blue and scribbled that on, picked it up with some water and added some blue to the unicorn. I don't know why but unicorns I just think need to be cotton candy-ish. <laughs> so I did some pink and blue with him. Now I'm just going to fussy cut these out. There are some uh, digital die cut files from Unity for these that you could use or your um, brother scan and cut any way that you want to fussy cut these out I just like to have a little border around each image just makes fussy cutting easier and I don't know the border just makes me happy so I grabbed some fun pattern papers and I'll be using the same pa pattern paper pack for all of these cards and I'm just playing around with placement this was a scrap piece in my in my paper pack that I just grabbed I like the way that that strip looked I flipped it over and I like the way that strip looked so I'm just gonna round the edges on the striped pattern and then glue that down again I'm just playing with placement as I'm doing each of these cards I had no plan in mind other than I knew what paper pack I wanted to use and the images. So I'm just laying those down, gluing them down directly onto the cardstock, trying to keep layers to a minimum. And then I grabbed a bit of washi tape, just like this pattern um, that it added. Just grounded the sentiment that I had stamped out, which I trimmed down into a banner and notched out the end and then added a bit of foam adhesive to the back of my little unicorn and then grabbed my corner rounder I just think the the change of the the square corners to the rounded corners is just more interesting to me so I thought I'd add that since these are such simple little valentines and then of course a little bit of shine with some nouveau drops that was pale gold so moving on to my second little valentine, I grabbed another strip of pattern paper. Just love these sweet little flowers. And here we are notching out the sentiment. Just cut a little slit in the, the end there and then cut it from corner to corner to match the, the little notch that I'm creating. Grab that same washi tape put a strip of that down and then I'm just going to glue down my sentiment on top of that trimmed everything off added a bit of foam adhesive again behind my little tiny bear and just put him on the card I'm gonna grab my corner rounder again just kind of round off that edge for a little bit more interest and again add the nouveau drop in pale gold just for a little bit of something something and last we're gonna work on our little chipmunk I just love this little star paper it's super cute I'm gonna use a different angle on this one just kind of glue that down straight onto the paper and then trim it out with my scissors so it matches the shape of the card Add another strip of washi tape, this time in a gray, to kind of match that um, tone of the, the pattern paper. I'm going to add my banner sentiment on top of that washi tape. That helps to ground it and give it a little bit of interest. <laughs> I just love the sentiment on this one. You're my favorite nut. <laughs> Chipmunks and squirrels just love nuts, so I just thought that was super cute. And again, just corner rounding one corner there and then adding some more Nuvo drops. So here are our three finished tiny Valentines. I just love how cute and sweet they are. The little unicorn with the fun pattern papers and colorful blues and pinks. 
And then the texture of the watercolor for all of these is fabulous. I love this tiny bear and his sentiment, you're my berry favorite, which is super punny and cute. And then last is our fun chipmunk with the sparkle from the Nouveau drops and just the fun pattern papers as well. I'll have all my supplies linked in the description of this video. Of course, if you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. I love to read them all and I answer them all as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye.